Well, hello once again. Hope that uh, this video finds all of you well and healthy and, and that uh, you've been able to get out and enjoy some of the uh, nice warm weather that we've been having. Uh, humidity here in Nashville has been uh, very high and high temperatures has been very muggy but uh, they say that we're supposed to be getting some, some better weather uh, soon. Uh, listen to uh, Corey's uh, devotional on Tuesday night and he talked uh, about uh, the verse uh, Matthew chapter 5 uh, uh, verse 13 about being the salt of the earth uh, this is taken from uh, uh, the Sermon on the Mount uh, last week we also talked about uh, a passage from that same uh, sermon and tonight we want to continue on uh, with the next verse uh, following that verse that uh, Corey led or talked about uh, to his youth group and that's Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14 where it says you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do men light a lamp and put it under the grain measure but on a lampstand and it gives light to all those who are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So verse 14 says that we are to be the light of the world. The light of the world is often denotes uh, the sun in John chapter 11 verse 9. What does the sun do? Well the sun renders objects visible. It shows their form, uh, their beauty, uh, their nature and their deformities so uh, when you think about light uh, we think about the sun that shines each day uh, but yet it also can be used to refer to uh, and applied to religious teachers uh, in Matthew chapter 4 verse 16 uh, it says the people who sat in darkness saw a great light and light was hung has sprung up to those who sat in the regions and shadow of death. Luke 2, 32. A light for revelation to the nations and to the glory of your people. John 1, 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of, the, of men. So these verses all talking about uh, religious leaders. Uh, the light of the world uh, can be applied to Jesus in these instances. And uh, <clears throat> because he is uh, in the moral world what the sun is to the natural world. Uh, he brings light, he makes things visible. He makes our lives visible, uh, the type of life that we live. Uh, he uh, draws out our uh, deformities, uh, our flaws, and also uh, brings us to, uh, shows our good character. So we then uh, need to be uh, the light of the world says that a city that is not set on a hill cannot be hidden. He talks about uh, that if you put a light up uh, in verse 15, he's talking about uh, when you light a candle or a lamp, you don't put it under a bushel basket, or it says here a grain measure, which that refers to a bushel basket back in those days. Uh, you don't put that underneath there because when you do that, that uh, pretty well eliminates the light and turns back to darkness. So, um, so you don't do that. What you do is you take it out, you put it on a, a candle holder, or uh, they talk about here a, a lamp stand. Uh, and when you do that, it eliminates the whole room that you're in. It brightens up the room. Uh, so. Um, we need to, to realize that's what we need to do. It's verse 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men 
that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So, for us as Christians, we need to realize that we are that shining light, that it is up to us to show Christianity to the world. Uh, he talks about the world being in darkness and uh, that uh, we need to bring light to that. And how do we do that? We do that by our lives that we live, uh, our Christian examples, how we go about teaching others uh, about Christ, uh, eliminating uh, to them uh, the beauty of Christ and uh, showing them good Christian attitudes. Uh, and uh, we do that through our works that we do, uh, the things that we do with our lives. And we need to be good examples. We need to set a life of an example in such a way that other people see Christ living in us and through our example then, uh, they then would desire to uh, become uh, Christians also. And uh, we can uh, then make sure that uh, we have uh, spread the gospel as we are committed, commanded to do. We're to go into all the world and we're to eliminate, illuminate the world uh, to Christ. We need to bring the world from darkness to the light, which is Jesus Christ. Well, during this pandemic, I think that we have had the opportunity as a church universal uh, to do that, to be a shining example to the world uh, through the technology of Facebook, YouTube, uh, church websites. Uh, there's been more uh, teaching and preaching the word uh, in these last three months or so than ever before, I think. Uh, you can't get on Facebook, on, especially on Sunday mornings, uh, without finding uh, somewhere either a church service or a Bible class being taught by ministers and uh, presented by Churches of Christ throughout the world. So uh, there's been a lot of Bible teaching going on, and uh, Charlotte Heights has, has uh, also been involved with that. Uh, just bring you up to date on some of the things that, that we've uh, done uh, during this pandemic. Uh, Jeff put in our bulletin uh, a list of things, that uh, accomplishments that Charlotte Heights has done. Uh, he posted that we put about 122 videos on YouTube and the church website. Uh, 54 of those were nightly devotionals, uh, videos uh, by our ministers and our elders. Uh, we had uh, 13 Kispiration videos uh, that was presented to the to our students, our kids on uh, Sunday mornings. Uh, we had uh, 48 prayer videos uh, that was conducted on two 24-hour prayer days, and I believe that we're in the process of uh, doing another one of those uh, very shortly, so you can be looking for that. We've had a big influence on our Facebook uh, outreach. Uh, our followers has increased from 409 to 529, which is a huge increase. Our, uh, our likes, Facebook likes has increased from 391 to 494, another big increase. So. We are having an impact, and I believe, believe that we as a church are uh, reaching out and we're being that light to the world. We're illuminating the, uh, to the world Jesus Christ and bringing those out of darkness. But possibly the best thing that has happened during this quarantine is that we have uh, had uh, four souls uh, request to be baptized into Jesus Christ and to have their sins washed away and to be added to his kingdom and to his church. Uh, I don't know when uh, it's the last time that I've uh, seen uh, that many baptisms in such a short time. Uh, uh, so it's a good work. God is truly blessing us as a church and a congregation and uh, we just hope that we can continue to do that and uh, I would encourage all of you to uh, look at your life, 
Uh, see if you're being that shining light uh, to the world. Uh, is your life in such a way that uh, people look up to you and uh, want to emulate you uh, and to uh, become like you, a Christian that has God in his heart and lives the Christian life doing all that we need to do to make sure that we, as a child of God, remain into his kingdom. And uh, if you need uh, uh, to do some Bible studies or uh, need uh, any information, uh, we would ask you that, that you would contact our church office or our website, and uh, we'll be more than happy to get together with you and to study with you uh, via uh, audio or video or whatever way you need to need to do it uh, this last sunday we were had our first in-person uh, service at the church building and uh, we had 91 of our church members uh, attend uh, which is good and uh, and uh, we're glad that they felt comfortable enough to come uh, and we also had uh, several of us that still uh, worshiping online through our online uh, Facebook pages and, and YouTube. So uh, just continue to be positive this week. Uh, examine your life. Make sure that you're not hiding your light under a bushel, but you're putting it up on that lamp st stick so that people can see your life and your example and that you can have a positive influence on someone and bring a soul to Christ. Let's bow out this time. Our most loving Heavenly Father, we come to you to thank you, Father, for the many blessings of life. Thank you for your church that you established, Father, for your word and the Bible that we have that we can study and to learn of you. And Father, we'd ask that you would be with all of our uh, members and those that are uh, listening and watching us uh, on uh, Facebook and other media. Uh, may we be a light to, to them, uh, bring them out of their darkness, Father, and that they might... Uh, desire to uh, study about you and to uh, learn of you and to become a child of yours. Continue to bless us and keep us safe. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Again, hope you have a good week and uh, we will uh, talk to you next week.